Hello everybody. I hope you guys are having a good day so far. Um, so I'm gonna do a couple recipes for you guys today. I feel like I'm in a cooking mood, so I'm gonna do, well, I guess I'm always in a cooking mood, but I'm gonna do maybe like three different things today. To start off with, I am going to do, that's right, you guessed it, deep fried pickles. So deep fried pickles is one of my favorite snacks. I I absolutely love pickles. So anything with pickles, that's for me. Um, so I'm gonna do deep fried pickles and I am going to bring you guys along with me to do this recipe. So I hope you guys enjoy it and I will talk to you soon. Okay guys, so to start off, I am going to take these pickles. I am actually gonna cut these in half because they're kind of big. So I'm gonna take these, I'm just gonna cut them in half. There we go, so there you go. I'm just cutting them in half. I'm gonna cut up a whole bunch of them and then we will go through the recipe together. Okay guys, so to start off with the pickles, like I showed you guys, I have cut the pickles up. So I've just sliced them in half. And now I'm gonna show you guys how to make your batter. So just grab a bowl and then we are going to add one cup of milk. I am actually using cream. I don't have milk right now, so I'm substituting for cream. And then I'm also gonna add in one egg. Okay, and to this, I am also going to add in one cup of flour. I already measured it out. Throw that right in. Just gonna mix this right up till it's nice and smooth. This, we're gonna add we're gonna season it so we're gonna add some black pepper we're gonna make this so flavorful and then to that we're gonna add a little bit of salt to that we are also gonna add some paprika And to this, so this is my own little thing. So I really like Cajun seasoning. So I'm gonna actually add some of this in. I've never had it with the Cajun seasoning, but I guess we'll find out. I'm actually gonna add a little bit of water to this right now too, because I feel like the batter is um, a little bit too thick. So we're just gonna add a little bit of water. There we go. We're just gonna give that a quick mix. Okay, that's better. Because I used cream, it kind of um, kind of thickened up the batter a little bit more, but that's okay. There we go. Okay, and now once you're done your batter, you're also going to get a um, some panko breadcrumbs. I'm currently using these ones. Sorry, washing my hands. So I'm gonna use these panko breadcrumbs and now I'm going to roll up my sleeves for this because this might get a little bit messy. And we're gonna take our pickles and we're just gonna dip them right into this. I didn't think this through. And then once we've dipped them in and they're completely coated, we are going to dip them in our panko and just give them a nice coat. And then we're gonna throw them on our plate. So you're gonna repeat this with all of them. So into the batter. And you can use, uh, depending on how many pickles you plan on making, you can use as much or as little um, breadcrumbs and all that as you need. So this just really depends on the amount that you wanna make. So then, there we go. And then it's just gonna look like this after. You're gonna get a little bit messy, but it's gonna be worth it. So we're just gonna keep doing that until we're finished and then we're going to fry them off together. So stay tuned for that. Hey guys, so okay, so after I um, did all the pickles and all that, I just gave my hands a quick wash and I just turned the heat up on my stove and then now we're just gonna put the pickles in here. So I've placed the pickles in here and I've actually fried some up already to show you guys. So this is literally what it looks like after. Deep fried pickles. So I'm just gonna let these ones finish in here. They honestly just need a few minutes. You don't need to leave them in here for that long. 
Um, they just need to get a nice little brown on them and then you can pull them out. Okay, we're just gonna let those finish and then I will be right back. Okay guys, so I am done. That took no time at all. They're so simple. Again, I'm all about quick, easy, um, quick, easy appetizers for when I have guests. So here they are. And I don't have, like I'm not gonna make a sauce with this. I find that I love tzatziki sauce. So this is a President's Choice brand that I picked up. And uh, I just spooned some out in a bowl. And I'm actually gonna try these with you. So I, I did try them, they're so good. So I'm just gonna give it a quick dip. These are so delicious and so quick and so easy and paired with um, the tzatziki sauce. It's so good. You guys should try it. I'm gonna post the recipe up on my um, up on my website. So go check out my website, leave a comment under the picture and uh, show some love. And my website, again, for those of you who don't know, is www.chefkitkat, all one word, dot com. So, Go to my website, like the post, and leave me a comment, and uh, the recipe will be there, and I hope you all enjoy. See ya.